Go Math, lesson one four. Yesterday, uh, or in a previous lesson, we were talking about the least common multiple. So today we're gonna be talking about the greatest common factor, GCF. So if you go back two lessons, you realize that factors were numbers that could be multiplied together to get an original number, or it's uh, a numbers that a large number can be broken down to. So with least common multiple, we're organizing chunks so that we don't have any waste. Think of the seeds and the flower pots, right? We had different numbers of each. So how many would we have to buy so we could get the exact same? We're making organized groups. Greatest common factor, we're breaking things into even chunks. So if I were to take something like, um, oh, I don't know, let's say a piece of yarn. So I'm gonna take a piece of yarn and I'm gonna say that piece of yarn is um, 21 inches. Now I have 21 inches and I have another one that is left over into 14 inches. And I wanna cut them up into little manageable strips, right? For one reason or another, I don't know what you do with yarn, that's not my business. So 21 and 14, I need the factors. Same way with my least common multiple, I actually wanna write out the factors and make a list and then I can check it. I wanna do the same thing with my greatest common factor. Greatest, this is the largest number common that they have in common that is a factor. So I'm working with factors. I need the factors of 21. Well, I've got one and 21. I'm gonna make a little factor rainbow here. One and 21, I have three and seven. And that's it, that's all my factors of 21. The numbers that can be multiplied together to get my original number. So we're gonna do the same thing with 14. I've got one and 14, boop. I've got two, if my pen writes, and seven, and no others. Now, a lot of people go, well, isn't one? No, because I want the greatest number, right? If I were looking at the least common factor, it doesn't exist, it's always one. I want the greatest common factor. And that's the part that most people get stuck on. Are we dealing with factors? Or are we dealing with multiples? So write out your actual work. Take a note. Circle things in the word problems, right? So the greatest common factor. Well, common factors, yes, common factor is one. Two and three are not a common factor. Seven is a common factor. 21 and 14 are not. So which is the largest number that they have in common? Seven. So the GCF of 21 and 14 is seven. So I can take both of those strips and I can cut them up into seven inch pieces and they would be uh, all equal size with no waste left over, okay? So what that looks like in a word problem might be something like this. Jim's cutting two strips of wood to make picture frames. The wood strip measures 12 inches and 18 inches. He wants to cut the strips into equal lengths that are as long as possible. Long as possible, greatest. Now, I'm probably not talking what I'm talking about greatest. I'm not talking about greatest common multiple because those numbers will keep multiplying and going on and on, right? Greatest hmm, leads me to believe that we're looking at factors. And in fact, it does tell me to find the greatest common factor or GCF of 12 and 18. Easy enough. I start with 12 and I start with 18 and I'm gonna make my factor rainbows. Factors of 12, one and 12, two and six three, and four. And a lot of you are probably watching this going, I can do that in my head. Yep, and if you do it in your head without writing it out, you have to keep doing it in your head just to check your work. So either you're not gonna check your work and make silly mistakes, or you're gonna use three times as much brain power to solve a problem as I did writing it out here on the board. So you did 12, let's do 18. One and 18, two and nine, three and six. All right, so now I want the common factors. So I start. Well, obviously one's a common factor. Hey, two's a common factor. Three's a common factor. Six is a common factor. Four is not, nine is not, 12 is not, and 18 is not. So what is the greatest number that they have in common as a factor? Greatest common factor of 12 and 18, of 12 and 18 is six. The greatest common factor of 12 and 18 is six. So if I took both of those strips of wood and I cut them up into six inch pieces, I would have five strips of wood because I would have two here and three out of here. It's really important when you're looking at greatest common factor that you write out your factors so you know whether you're dealing with factor or multiple. 
do the work on the paper, take your time, and read it carefully.